Hey there, Abundant Life family. I'm Danvin Rungshin. Let's check out what's going on with Real World, our fellowship of young adults. Hey, young adults at ALCF, we're bringing you a series about love, sex, and marriage. What we aim to do is teach you new truths. So, Open up your schedule and make it free. Come to Real World Friday and then you'll see. It's a place to learn about love, 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 love. So don't you hesitate. No more, no more. Strong love is here for sure. There's no need to contemplate no more no more get into the word and be sure a few weekends ago pastor john encouraged us to become a part of a community and then Sandeep challenged us to breathe in the love of God. Easter Celebration 2011 gives you the opportunity to do both. Whether you are interested in performing on stage or helping behind the scenes, doing construction, helping with tickets, sewing, ushering, parking, praying, fixing your famous mac and cheese, or many other ways you can get involved, come and help us with this outreach and breathe God's love into the Bay Area. For details on how to get involved, please join us for an informational meeting on Sunday, January 30th at 1 p.m. here in the sanctuary. I look forward to ministering alongside you during Easter Celebration 2011. Seniors, it's time once again to sign up for Seniors Night Out. Join us Friday night, February 11th at 6.30 p.m. for great fellowship, food, and fun. Pastor Greg Soul will be our guest speaker. Please visit the Oasis Ministry booth in the lobby after service today, or as usual, contact Helen Mears via email or at extension 222. And don't forget to also ask about our daytime activities. Jehovah Jireh, God our provider. Jehovah Nisi, God our banner. Jehovah Shama, the God who is there. The names of God reveal His character and how awesome He is. In 2011, the Women of Worth Fellowship will be focusing on the names of God. We'll be meeting next Saturday, February 5th at 10 a.m. in the Fellowship Hall. And Pastor Cora will be speaking on El Rorai, the God who sees me. All women are invited to come and experience this wonderful time of prayer, worship, connection with other women, and intimacy with God. Please contact us by Wednesday, February 2nd to reserve childcare. To learn more, go to alcf.net slash women. In Matthew 5, Jesus said to his disciples and to all of us, you are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world. In misguided attempts to answer that call, people have come up with some pretty scary approaches to sharing the gospel. Here are a couple. Sinners, God has Standing on a street corner with a bullhorn, threatening people with eternal damnation. That's more like being pepper than salt. Trying to badger people into submission by subjecting them to a never-ending religious monologue. That's more like being an 18-wheeler with the brights on, bearing down on someone, than being the light of the world. On the other hand, many times we decide to shut down and stay in the salt shaker for fear of being obnoxious and offending people, or we disqualify ourselves because we haven't attended seminary and feel we don't know enough. The trouble with that is we have this wonderful message of hope stirring within us that is just too good to keep to ourselves. I want you to know there is a sane and fruitful way for each and every one of us to share the gospel. Not surprisingly, it's modeled after Christ himself and centers on being in relationship with others and in partnership with him. On Saturday, February 19th at 6.30, we are going to begin a monthly event called Salt and Light where we'll head down that road together. It will be based in part on the content of the Out of the Salt Shaker class, 
that's been offered for the past 10 years at Abundant Life. Each event will include a teaching, a personal testimony, and a chance to share experiences and receive encouragement. There's no need to RSVP or sign up. Just show up. I hope you can come. There's so much to be gained by answering Jesus' call to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Please check your bulletin and our website for information on these and many other ways to get connected and thrive as you walk with Christ. And remember, Micah 6.8 reminds us to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Have a great week.